Longole was blessed with seven children, but four of her children died from Kalazai symptoms. This daughter could have been the fifth Kalazai victim in the family, but she was lucky enough to meet a community health worker from the Kimalel Health Center in northern Kenya who ensured she received an effective treatment. <laughs> Mm. Viceroy lace maniasis, commonly known as Kalaza, is a neglected disease which affects the poorest of the poor in remote areas of the Indian subcontinent, Africa and Latin America. Far away from the central hospitals and the media spotlight, this disease is a major health problem in developing countries. Kalazar is caused by protozoal parasites and results in fever, enlarged spleen and liver, weight loss and anemia. The untreated disease is fatal. Until recently, health workers had no choice but to use all toxic and ineffective medicines, including a 30-day course of painful injections. Samuel Chircher has been working as a community health worker in rural Kenya for many years. The community soon come all to the clinic because they are living very far, they don't have transport, if they, if they, even, even if there is a transport, they don't have money to afford that transport. Today, thanks to public and private investments, Drugs for Neglected Diseases Initiative and its partners in the Leishmaniasis East African Platform, or LEAP, are putting patient and health worker needs at the center of the research and development agenda to develop simpler, safer and more effective medicines to fight Kalaza. DNDI is conducting the clinical trials um, and international standards. Everything we do, we have to respect that patient that we want to help. To ensure the new medicines meet the needs of the most neglected patients, the LEAP platform is working with African scientists to build research capacity and to strengthen community participation in the trials. We have people who are experienced researchers, many of who have done already clinical trials in the past, and who have experience uh, in the disease itself. They are the people we are relying on to, to basically do these clinical trials and to be our experts in DNDI. And what we need to do is bring the equipment, the facilities and the training uh, to, in order to ensure that they can do the job the best way they possibly can. Dr. Ahmed M. L. Hassan, expert on Kalazai in Africa, rightly puts it first. The project has brought African scientists in the region together to tackle a disease that knows no political boundaries. An example par excellence of South-South collaboration about which we talk a lot and do very little. LEAP and DNDI currently have six active field sites in four countries. One such site is Kimalel, where the Kenya Medical Research Institute and Drugs for Neglected Diseases Initiative have set up a Kalaza Diagnostic Treatment and Monitoring Center. Today, LEAP has successfully treated over 1,000 patients within its research studies and is on track to deliver a new simplified combination to treat this debilitating and deadly disease. With the two studies actively enrolling patients and another plan to begin by the end of 2009, LEAP and Drugs for Neglected Diseases Initiative are solidly on the way to identifying the right combination therapy for Africa making the best of what we have, making it better and protecting it for the future.